Are you looking for the best place for kids in Ure and the San Juan Mountains? Hi, this is Jason with Road Trippin' with Takis, and this is a follow-up to our Ure Hot Springs video. We're going to focus more on activities for kids and the places they can play here. The first thing you need to know is that if your kid is young enough, they need to take a swim test. They're required to do two things, freestyle or breaststroke, and then a backstroke. You can see Grayson is taking his swim test because he is under age. Adults and older kids aren't required to. It's time to get in the pool. This one's a little cooler than the other ones. And we're gonna swim on over to the rock wall. It's a little bit of a different experience than a normal rock wall if you've never done one in the water. And it's actually really fun. We were looking for the footholds and the handholds, trying to climb up. Both Grayson and Preston tried to see how high they could climb. You just fall into the water if you make a mistake. It's time to head over to our boy's favorite part of Ure Hot Springs, and that's the water slide. I think this just might be the most beautiful water slide in all of North America. You can see there's also a height requirement, and don't forget to remove your swim mask and your flotation device. There's two water slides, so pick one. I'm going down the red. This one's the faster one. Real quick to the bottom, steep drop, a lot of fun. Preston chose to try out the yellow one, but he decided to sit up. So I'm gonna show him how to lay back and enjoy. Grayson did the red one and he really enjoyed it. Now it's time to step up to the yellow one and show him how it's done. I'm gonna grab this bar, put my legs together, lay back and just enjoy the ride. Grayson's going for speed, so he did the red one again. And you can see the goggles in his hands. When you enter the hot springs, they'll give you a wristband. But when you go on the water slides, you'll get a different wristband. That's $5 extra. And here's a view of the city from the other direction. Definitely do some hikes in the area. Uh, the boys are off to the races again. Now Preston and Grayson have the right technique now. We decided to do this a whole bunch of times because as you can see, there's pretty much no line. We also recommend you try going a little bit later in the afternoon or evening, and it's not as crowded. Peak time seems to be around 2 or 3 p.m. Now we're going to head over to the activity pool. You can see they have a fun thing you can climb on, try to race across. Ugh. Preston didn't make it. Let's see how Grayson does. All right, here we go. Ugh. This is pretty tough to do, but a lot of fun. You can see they also have shade and misters in different areas. Now we're headed to the front pool. This is what it looks like. It's a little bit warmer than the other one. It's not the hottest, but it's still much nicer than the activity pool. And there is some shade that covers it in certain areas. They also have some shaded picnic areas too. Your kids might also enjoy the pool toys that are scattered throughout. We saw a bunch of pool noodles and basketballs. And of course, Preston appreciated the basketball because he's on several teams. So you'll notice the net's at a nice height. So regardless of your kid's age, they should enjoy it. Oh, Grayson with a block. That's okay, just don't get on him. Of course, I had to get in on the action. One-handed, baby. That's right, you can't stop that. You can't stop that. They also have one of those lumberjack types of things where you try to balance on it, but it was locked up. After playing around for a while, I decided to just sit down and soak it all in. All right, road trippers, I hope you enjoyed this. I also have another video where I shot the hot springs at night. Thanks for watching.